Here are three summer tech wear outfits that are great for people that are new to this kind of fashion and will allow you to tolerate summer a little more. But Johnny, what's your solution when it's 95 degrees out and 70% humidity? I just won't go outside. Now that you know, let's hop into the fits. So for our first tech fit, this will lean more towards that gray man tech look. And for those of you guys that are new, this is basically the sleeper cars of car culture. So it looks like a normal outfit, but has a ton of performance. So let's start off with the top. I've got on the Lululemon snap down overshirt. This is a casual overshirt that is water repellent, breathable, and stretchy as hell. On this day, it was about 84 degrees, quite cloudy. And honestly, even though it was a long sleeve, I wasn't dying. It's very thin, has snap down buttons that you can mess with for different looks or to give you more breathability. And it has the Mandarin collar, which is an underrated design choice that I always look out for. And I think more guys should rock. Underneath that, I have the Uniqlo Airism tank top. Airism is awesome and my life changed the first time I wore an Airism shirt. It's sweat wicking, stays cool to the touch and controls bad odor. More wears, less washes, good for you. There's not too much to say about that other than I think a tank is necessary with this kind of top. That extra fabric around the arm area is just a little bit too much for summer. Then the shorts are the Nike ACG trail shorts. These are my new favorites. They're pretty pricey for a pair of shorts at $55, but with technical fashion, you do pay for the performance and this does come with water repellency because you always gotta be prepared if you spill a drink on yourself, man, you never know. It also comes with a built-in adjustable belt with a quick release pull tab. You got zipper pockets, plus there's an extra loop in the back where you can hang your chalk if you guys do climb. So that's always a nice touch. Then for the footwear, we got crew socks with the Nike Air Max 90s, which are quite breathable. And trust me, this fit does not look good with white socks or no socks. I've tried, trust me, it doesn't look good. So uh, you're gonna have to deal with the contrast, those of you guys that don't like that look. Then I threw on the Block Tech shoulder bag from Uniqlo. This is where I carry all my camera gear for this shoot. So don't worry, it's not empty and it definitely fits the vibe. Now, if it was any hotter or the sun came out, I'm just gonna be rolling with the tank top because it's a wrap with the overshirt. Next up is for all my brothers and sisters that enjoy the outdoors. I grew up hiking the Sandia Mountains, yes, the same ones in Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. So I like to think I know a thing or two about Gorpcore, which is currently trending right now. And by trending, I mean exploding all because of this man. So check out this fit. I went full Nike ACG on purpose just to highlight what you can get out there. And I'll leave a ton of links in the description if you guys want to pick any of these items up. Anyways, let's just start with the star piece of the fit, and that is the Nike ACG Devastation Trail shirt. This is actually quite a breathable shirt, even though it is a long sleeve. This shirt does have a button on the side of the shirt and there's an extra tab on the inside of the shirt so you can roll up your sleeve and button it down and you don't have to worry about your sleeves falling. Definitely much appreciated. There is a slit in the back for extra ventilation and because of the dry fit technology this shirt does dry extremely fast if you do get wet. There's plenty of storage for your gorp and this fit was perfect because I went to Pennsylvania with some friends. It was about 65 in the morning. We were thousands and thousands of feet above sea level so it's a little bit cooler up there and I got some hiking in and it was pretty dope. Underneath we got the same Uniqlo Airism shirt in white. The pants are the Nike Lab ACG Deploy Cargos. These cargos are iconic with those modular cargo pockets, the water resistance, and the adjustable ankle tabs. I wrap the tab around to tie it around my ankles for a pretty aggressive taper. That way I don't get stung by mosquitoes because yo, mosquitoes be pulling down your socks just to sting you, I swear. Then I've got on the Nike ACG backpack. There's tons of loops, tons of buckles. It's a good looking backpack with plenty of storage, plenty of places to hang your water bottle, plenty of adjustability, and it's very comfortable to wear. Then finally, the Nike ACG mountain fly lows these are just my new favorite hiking sneaker i do have the standard ones but the lows they hit different and i do think they look better although i wish it did have that gore-tex technology and the lime green color is always a nice touch if you guys wonder why gore has so much colorful fits colorful parkas colorful pants colorful sneakers it's mainly because if you're hiking out there, you want to be visible in thick vegetation, and that's why a lot of the pieces are very colorful. Last but not least is a very simple fit that I composed without any Nike items. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I've got on a tank top from Lulu, which is very breathable, quick drying, and moisture wicking. Plus, it has that anti-stink technology. Pretty nice. And uh, just so you guys know, you don't have to be yoked to be wearing tank tops. Anybody can wear a tank top. For the pants, I've got on the Steven 2.0 cargos. These ones are so much nicer than the first ones. The first ones, I felt like... I was in a sauna. They're way more breathable, not as stuffy as the last ones, and I really dig them. Pretty much everything is the same as the first iteration, except for the upgraded magnetic hardware and the more breathable materials. And they're definitely great cargos if you're just starting to build your tech wardrobe. Then the Sweetco Kissy V sandals with black crew socks. Would it be more breathable without crew socks? 
Definitely. But I like the all black look. Definitely recommend the Sweet Coke sandals if you are new to sandals. I think the sandals with black crew socks gives your fit those extra tech ninja points that is necessary for the lack of layers in the summertime. And it's just a nice switch up because I know everyone has worn sneakers their entire life and not very much sandals. Then I topped it off with a green cap. Nothing functional about the cap other than uh, it protects my eyes from the sun. If you call that functional, I think it is. There's no quick drying. There's no uh, water resistance. That doesn't matter to me. I just want to protect my eye. And then the bag is from Peak Design, which just holds all my camera gear for this shoot as well. But yeah, no amount of tech pieces is going to make a hot, humid summer day tolerable. Especially with me living in New York City, where my only form of transportation is my feet. So if the temperature gets any hotter than any of these fits, which is uh, about 85 was about the highest, then I'm just not going outside. I might consider the evening. Just waiting out the days until that first leaf falls. All right, y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Those are my summer tech fits that I've been rocking. Definitely been rocking more, but these are just the ones that I filmed. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Flower Johnny Ty. And if you haven't already, join my Vibely community. This is a place where you can submit your fits. That way you can get some feedback on the fit itself or how you edited the picture. Whatever you guys want, that's where you guys interact with me. And uh, yeah, stay hydrated. Uh, stay fly. Deuces.